like the most I done told us in the scriptures. Not no time out. Not no ability of a child to divorce a parent because they're following the righteous way of the most high. And end up in the system. And anything you can think of and can't think of happen to them. Somebody that don't really love them, they just a paycheck then. But they barely for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. But he for our for profit, he for our profit, that great, that plant, that the most I labor to make perfect, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous. Because you ain't chastening for the present seem to be joyous, yeah. But grievous, nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. The fruit of righteousness is what? The fruit of keeping the most highest law so you can be joyous. He can bless you. Well, he said, you keep my laws, I'm going to bless you. If you don't, I'm going to curse you. I'm going to bring the wrath. My vengeance upon you, my fury, my anger upon you. Wherefore lift up the hand which having which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet. Lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed through the power of the most high by some of myself double shot. So let it be healed. All the lame, let it be healed. Lift up holy hands to the most high. I'm thanking him. Because this is what he's going to do. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the most high. Nor myself thou shall. That's that love that never thyself. See, all the law based upon what? Loving the most high with all our heart, mind, and soul. We always claim that. I love my love. I love Jesus. I love whatever name you call it. But when it comes down to loving the people of Israel, you got a problem with that. One way or another, we always looking to dissect something wrong with each other instead of loving each other. Looking diligently, lest any man full of the grace of the Most High, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. See, you let this, this root of bitterness troubling you, you hold on to grudges, which is against the law. Certain things you let bother you against your brothers, against your sister. You're going to be the he's saying. That's what I say the earth is inhabited. It's, it's the father and the habits thereof. The people that live on it is the father because of all this pride. That bitterness is in you because you can't let go of your pride. You ain't humble. You can't have a broken and contrite spirit because your pride won't allow you to. Therefore, you go before the most high with a proud spirit, he's going to kill you. He's going to burn you up. He's going to melt you. Remember, he the one that kill, he the one that make alive. You better hear the word of the most high. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Talking about the biblical forefather of the indigenous so-called white people who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You read him about him in Genesis 25, 25 down. For ye know how that afterward, you know what? And that's why my second shot said you put the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left hand. That's the spirit that the most high made them to have. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, because he was the first son, born to Isaac and Rebekah, our foremother, he was rejected. So he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. He found no place of repentance. Though he sought it carefully with tears, crying, to our forefather Isaac, but he still didn't repent. He found no place of repentance then until the end.
So he's letting you know he don't want us to have this type of spirit that he saw out of. Why he saw, he bring Esau into this conversation when he's talking about how we shouldn't be and how we should be. Then he bring Esau into the conversation because where they at? They're among the Roman Empire. The Romans are the ones that was in power at this time. And they took us down and fought from 65 to 70 AD. That's why he telling us. Reminding them of who you dealing with. Just like we dealing with the same people in the last days. Second Ezra 6 and 9 says, For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow The children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, going to rule in righteousness after Esau is not in power anymore. Remember this, Hebrews 12, 29. For our power, the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob being the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, is a consuming fire. Remember he said, I'm going to melt you. He's a consuming fire. See. Look at uh, verse 28. Hebrews 12, 28. Wherefore we Coming to the 12 tribes of Israel, receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace, be something we don't deserve, whereby we have, we may serve the Most High, acceptable with reverence and righteous fear. See, acceptable to the Most High with righteous fear. Fear of the Most High. Why? Well, our power is a consuming fire. You see that? Deuteronomy 4.24. Deuteronomy 4.24. You gotta recognize. You see, we got to bring the most high because he is the ultimate judge of all that is happening in this earth. Deuteronomy 4.24. For the most high power, thy power, and thy is your, which is the personal, possess the pronoun, showing ownership. Because he the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's his name forever, no more to all generations. As it tells us in Exodus 3, 15 and 16. For the most high, thy power is a consuming fire, even a jealous power. See? So that's why we got to give all praise to the most high. So this is his word. This is... what we have to follow until the end of this world and the beginning of the world that follows, which is the world of the Mosai, the Mashiach, El Shai, and the 12 tribes of Israel, one third, mind you, and the remnant of the nations. That's the Mosai going to say to be able to do the things that they're going to do in the kingdom, but in a righteous kingdom. So. That feels good to know. Rather than looking at what we're dealing with here and wickedness all the time, people coming up with laws that we can have nothing to do with according to righteousness and trying to stop the righteousness, even the sale of Bibles in California. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes 40. And 19. Children and the building of a city continue a man's name. Hear that? Children and the building of a city continue a man's name. A lot of cities are named after a man. And the children have, you know, your last name supposed to have your man. Children and the building of a city continue a man's name. But a blameless wife is coming above them both. Blame this wife. She's without sin. 
is counted above them both, it says. And can you imagine the city named after you would say a blameless life? Oh, excuse me, a blameless wife is counted above them both. Counted above children and the building of a city. The continual man's name. So a blameless wife is counted above them both. Wow. So that's some love that the most I have for the daughters of Zion right there. They gotta be blameless. You gotta know what's right and follow what's right and be right every day. Um, spoken to us through a Mashiach Kelashai, who is the word of the Most High. It says, here is the patience of the saints, or the 12 tribes of Israel, when we read Psalm 148, 14. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of a Mashiach Kelashai. So it's all about keeping the commandments of the Most High and having the faith of the Most High. Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed, that's where you want to be. Hopefully blessed. And not one of the multitudes that was born in vain to perish. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You hear this? Parents and children. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And those gates are four gates. One on the north, one on the south, one on the east, and one on the west. And three tribes is going to each one of those gates which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You have the 144,000 which is 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel. 12 times 12 is 144. 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel will be the 144,000 men that's going to rule with Hamashiach El Shai to rule this world forever and ever and ever. For without, verse 50, for without, for without the kingdom are dogs, and dogs, I looked it up in the Honest Bible Dictionary, it means. A word that the Israelites used concerning the Gentiles because of their profaneness. We just read about Esau being profane because of their profaneness and because of homosexuality. That's what it says in the Hungers Bible Dictionary. So without a dogs and sorcerers, witches and whoremongers, jumping from bed to bed, don't have no commitment, and murderers, those brothers that don't love their brothers and sisters, they don't love their sisters and brothers, brothers that don't love their sisters and brothers, Murderers and those that actually murder the children of Israel and idolaters, those that don't believe in the Most High, believe in something else, even if it's yourself, more so than the Most High, whatever it is that you put more reference in, into. That's idolatry. Idolaters and whosoever love and make of a lie. You liars, you ain't going to the kingdom either. So with that, we'll go to Daniel 7, 28. 
Hitherto is the end of the matter. That's it. That's the end of the matter. I hope that was edifying to you to be able to bring some light to we as the children of Israel to know that we have a power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <coughs> and Amashiach Elishai, our Savior, our big brother, that's coming to judge and make one second. Watching this on this earth and everybody and their mama and daddy should want to have a righteous world. If not, then you're wicked. You you probably one of the ones that he said in 2nd Ezra 9.22. The multitude pairs then, which was born in vain, and let my great, my plant be kept with great labor and I made it perfect. So hopefully it was edifying to you and if you'd like more information, you can reach me, Freestyle Wom at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. And you can send your donation to P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. And I love you. Most I love Jacob. Keep the faith. Keep doing what we got to do to the kingdom. Be saved from our enemies and from all the hand of all those that hate us. Hello, y'all. I'm out.